It's gonna be a quick one. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be a quick one. Yeah, it's gonna be over before that's you know said. it. <laughs> it's gonna be over before you know it. I guess that's Boom! That's <laughs> surprise headbutts. By surprise headbutts, I do not mean like, hey man, how's it going? Yeah. Crack! <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about, though. We're gonna talk about a little bit of a diving preemptive headbutt later. When I say surprise headbutts, I'm talking more about the timing, and the timing of it is right now. There is a line between combat sports and self-defense, but it's not as big as the reality-based self-defense guys would have you believe, but it's a little bigger than just the combat sport experts think it is. The truth is, if I wanna land a headbutt, groin strike, or eye gouge from the clinch, I kinda have to know how to clinch at least the basics. All right? he can pull on me any kind of way. I got a good inside position, collar tie here, or this one, I, I like both of them. We'll go from here for right now. Uh, I still have to know how to unbalance him, and when I unbalance him, I'm gonna yank him, turn him, boom, he goes like this. Their instinct is to pick their head up. You can reasonably predict, especially an untrained person that's not gonna suddenly shoot for some sort of takedown, is going to try to pick their head up. They're gonna do the opposite of whatever you do. Even from here, if I pull down on Jay's head, he wants to pick his head up. That's just a natural instinct. If I turn him this way, he's gonna pick his head back up and square it back up to me. Boom, that's when you go. It's right then. You don't wanna get here, he picks his head up, you get control and you get ready and then you go, yeah. It's gotta be like a like a quick, sudden, offbeat sort of thing. Boom, boom, now, pop, bang, like that. Hey, bang, like right then. Pulling down, he picks his head up. That adds momentum, he's pulling away, and it pulls me into him, and I headbutt. We did a video once before on headbutts. Notice I'm not doing this, right? <laughs> right? We wanna stay rigid, use our core, and just drive forward. It doesn't have to be hard. How hard do you think you have to headbutt somebody to hurt them? If I land this right yeah, here. Barely, yeah. Barely. <laughs> Nose and mouth. Yeah. So if you go super hard and get this, yes, you'll destroy him. But if you go super hard and get this, that sucks for both of you. When you move somebody, sometimes they do other stuff. You know, I'm not saying that he'll never go for a leg. If I snatch him down this way, he might just try to grab my leg. But then I do this, look, he popped his head up, boom! Right? The answer, the timing of it is just right now. It's not, don't secure your position, then throw the headbutt. The headbutt is meant to be a, things aren't going your way or you're trying to get the advantage. You put the headbutt in there and then that lets you do your other thing you wanna do, maybe turns back into me. And right in that moment, boom, a headbutt right then. It's just sort of disrupting them in those like transitional periods. But what about just winging one in to get the party started? <laughs> Can you do that? Can I just from here or from here throw that headbutt? There, uh, you know, that's a marginal. You were starting to put your hands on me. Yep. I didn't react to that, but it just so happened that I got lucky that he was in the process of assaulting me when my headbutt went through. <laughs> but what about, like, what about some big old, like, yo, what's up? Boom! <laughs> Can you do it? Can you just throw them like that. The diving headbutt, much the same way. We are going to brace our core, brace our neck. You have to have some neck muscles. Working on clinching, if you go to a class and you're, you guys are clinching a lot, like I'm pulling on your head, you can pull on mine, right? This builds up your neck. You know what I mean? Boom, you get here, go inside, Jay. Right? You pull, pull, right? You pull on my neck, right? This, this is how we build up those neck muscles. It's the same, and these muscles also keep you from getting knocked out. So you flex all those neck muscles, right? and you just drive forward. Your eyes even with his chin or neck, right? So that you put that stuff in that stuff. But can we do that? We've covered it before. All the rules apply for throwing the first punch in self-defense. So I'll put that video up there if you wanna see how I make a case that you can actually, from zero, throw the first attack and it be legally, ethically, morally, and tactically correct. Watch that video up there. But uh, we might do some more headbutt stuff soon. So comment below if there's anything in the meantime that you wanna see about headbutts. Anything you wanna know about them, any certain techniques or any certain scenarios that you wanna see about the headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a couple more. All right. <laughs> well, at least it ain't hurting you. It does hurt. Just the way you do it, you look. Like... <laughs> <laughs>
I do, I'll do two more. Right. That hurts. Two <laughs> more. Oh, God. Oh, it hurts. All right, you ready? Get up. <laughs> Please be in there. Right?